And now we're ready to add our first account. So we'll go ahead and click add account here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to link to the customer's Azure AD tenant, right? So we're going to make sure we can communicate with that tenant um, and we'll create a temporary token allowing that. Go ahead and get logged in here. And we'll see that I've got a uh, consent that I'm going to put in. And again, there's that uh, partner solutions customer A, right? We're normally MSP. This is our customer. So this is going to be customer A. We'll hit accept here. That's the tenant, right? That we're, that we're authenticating with right now. And we'll see that we've got access to this. Okay. Um, we'll go ahead and just stick with this naming. We're going to call it Nerdio Partner Solutions Customer A. I'll add the space. Uh, we've got our subscription. And as we discussed, this is going to be new Azure AD DS or Greenfield. So we'll hit save and next. This normally takes just a few minutes. Um, it's actually kind of getting that, uh, that token set up uh, and, and getting us ready to start communicating and working through the next steps. Okay, we can see it created that service principle. Um, that was step one. As always, we can hit details to see, you know, kind of what happened. Uh, now we're on the next step. Again, this is uh, Greenfield or net new everything, right? So we have no Azure footprint. We could definitely have M365 services associated with the tenant, but in Azure, we're, we're assuming we have no footprint yet. So we're going to go ahead and build this customer in West US, and I'm going to create a new resource group, right? Um, and let's go ahead and call this uh, NMM MSP Client A. And then I'm going to go ahead and create a network and let's call it client a uh, vnet and we'll just go with oops some generic defaults here and we'll call this client a lan and there we go we'll hit next so this is going to create a resource group within that resource group it's also going to create a vnet and subnet and that should take about five to 10 minutes. And as always, whoops, we can hit details and follow along as it goes. Okay, that's completed. We see success down here and we can see that information right there. Okay, now we're at step three. We're going to create new Azure Active Directory domain services. And again, why is this happening? You need to have uh, domain services for WVD desktops to actually join and be managed properly. So instead of using a standalone VM that you know could be inefficient, um, might not be redundant, we're actually using domain services as a service from Azure, right? This is Greenfield. This client doesn't have a cloud footprint yet. So this is a real easy way to kind of keep them cloud only. Uh, so I'm going to just define what the name of the initial domain admin, right? We're all familiar with that from, from just general domain services is going to be, we can see that our initial name for the domain is going to match the tenant name. And then you can actually put your customer, your vanity domains in as well once that's done. So all of this is to say, right, this is perfect. Uh, we went ahead and defined who our initial admin's going to be. Uh, I've set a password and I'm going to hit save and next. This process generally takes 60 to 90 minutes. Again, this is not a Nerdio timing. This is uh, Microsoft going through the build out of Azure Active Directory domain services. So we'll let this start to run and I'll check back in shortly. Okay, that is completed. And we can see that finished at 1139. We started at 1035, so just over 60 minutes. And I'll see you in FS Logic step four. Okay, and this next step is really important because, you know, we we do see WVD best practices to utilize FS Logic for profile and you know other uh, types of redirection and services that are included with it. So we find that it's really important to set up where that FS Logic storage is going to be when we add the environment, right? So um, our automations are going to integrate with FS Logic. We'll talk more about it as we go into some of the management training. But right here, we're we're going to tell the Nerdio manager for MSP where that storage is, right, as the default. And this is something you can modify uh, at the account level um, and even at the pool level as, as you dig into the account later. But in our case, since this is Greenfield, we actually need to create new Azure file share, right? So we're saying we don't have anything existing. So I'm going to hit add. 
we'll notice that the storage account name does have to be unique in Azure. Um, let's use our partner. Uh, we'll do SOL uh, NMM demo. Oh, that's that's probably right at the limit. Okay, we'll see if we can grab that one. Um, again, important to think about location and performance. We only recommend premium. Um, I'm going to call the file share name FS Logic Store. And capacity, we're going to start with 100. Do know that you know throughput and performance does increase as you go up. Uh, it's also important to point out that if we go here to our Azure Active Directory. You know, when we're thinking about environments, we want to make sure we're thinking about best practices, right? And so, you know, something that's going to come up eventually is you're going to be working with security groups, right? You're going to use groups as a way to manage multiple users in a single container. In this case, I created an Azure's file group ahead of time. I haven't added anyone to it, but with NMM, I get the ability to kind of define that, um, that group access while it's being created. So I'm going to plug that Azure files in there now. I'm going to hit OK. Make sure we don't get any errors back here. And we'll give that a moment to, oh, we'll go ahead and hit save. We'll give that a moment to kick off. As always, we can watch the details. OK, that is completed. Um, we can see, right, it looked to see if that storage account existed. It didn't, so it created it, um, set up that group access, and finished. And now we have our account added. And I'll see you in the next lesson.